Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the auto enhanced feature that's in our editor. So we have some basic picture enhancement tools in the application. As you can see in the right hand tool panel here, under the second tab, we have some picture enhancement tools. So we have the brightness slider and the contrast slider to um, increase or decrease either of those and we also have the mode so you can have original black and white or sepia I'm just going to leave mine on original for now to show you the change in colors so we also have the auto enhance option which uses an artificial intelligence algorithm to automatically enhance your images it fixes things like color adjust the contrasts and corrects under and over exposure. So photo enhancement can be used to ensure your photos are printed to the highest quality. Sometimes we can see an image on a computer screen and it can look really good due to the brightness of the screen, but it may not be a true representation of the image. So if you're not too sure if your images are the best they can be for print quality, using this option can help. Okay, so let's take a look. On the right side of my page here, I have an image that's quite dark, especially in the shadow areas. And I wanted to see if the Auto Enhance can improve my image. So I need to select the picture by clicking with my left mouse button on the picture and then ticking the box next to auto enhance up here in the right toolbar. So you can see there it's brightened my image, especially in those shadow areas, bringing out the colors and the detail within the banister area there. I'm quite happy with what the auto enhance has done to this photo. So I'm going to leave it turned on. Obviously, you can turn it off if you don't like the effect. And you can also adjust the brightness and contrast if you feel comfortable uh, with the sliders on the right hand side there. It's always good to remember, though, that when what you see on the screen won't be exactly what is printed, because firstly, your screen will look a lot brighter than a printed page. And secondly, your screen is not calibrated to our printer. Okay, so if we move on, this next image, as you can see, is a scanned version of an older photo. So it looks quite overexposed and has lost some of the details in her features. Obviously, we need to realize that auto enhance won't make a bad photo perfect, but we can see what it can do for it anyway. So if I select the picture, clicking with my left mouse button, and then select auto enhance you can see that it's darkened the image and added more contrast making her features stand out more I think that maybe the image is a little too dark still but want to leave most of the contrasting because I think it really brings out those features so if I just use the slider over here and just increase the brightness just slightly I think that leaves a good um, Good contrast, but in bright, brightens the picture just a little bit more. So I'm really happy with how that looks there. So you can select to apply the auto enhance to more than one image at a time. You can do this by selecting the first photo and then holding your shift key on your keyboard. You can click on the second photo and that will select both of them at the same time. So then from there, you can actually select or unselect the auto enhance and it will apply to both of those images. So this applies to all images on a spread, no matter how many you have, you can select them all or you can just do one at a time and see the effect and select which ones you want to apply the auto enhance to. So we have a feature within the shopping cart that allows you to apply the auto enhance for the whole album once. So if you think your album would benefit from this and you didn't want to apply it to each picture individually, you can wait until you go to the shopping cart and apply it then. So I'll just quickly show you 
just change screens here and show you what the shopping cart looks like. So on the first page of the shopping cart is the cart summary. And this is where the auto enhance is already turned on. So we do suggest, um, and we do have some important information listed here if you'd like to read it, that if you've already auto enhanced your images and chosen which ones you wanted to enhance while you were creating your project, or if you have edited your pictures through another program such as Photoshop or Lightroom, we do suggest that you turn off the auto enhance at this point. So just click on the change button there and select auto enhance off and select change. And you'll see there that it is turned the auto enhance off. Now turning it off in the shopping cart here will not affect what you've done while you created your project. So if you did pick and choose which images to apply the auto enhance to, by turning it off in the shopping cart, it won't affect it. It will keep those changes and it won't make any more. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.